In this video, we'll look at some applications of vector functions. And the specific application we're going to look at in this video is in physics with uh, motion of objects. So uh, recall that if I have either displacement or location, and I'm going to consider this as a vector, so the vector function s in terms of t. If I want to get to the velocity, that's going to be the vector v of t, which will be the derivative of the location or displacement. On a side note, if I want to find the speed, that will just be the magnitude of velocity. And in a vector sense, for this one, you'll have to do uh, the square root of sort of the i part squared plus the j part squared. I have to do Pythagorean theorem. And then if I want acceleration, I might be mis misspelling acceleration, I apologize if I am, that is a of t, which will be the derivative with respect to time of the velocity. So let's look at uh, two examples. First one, given that the location of a particle is modeled by s of t equals this, find the speed of the particle at time t equals 3. So in order to find speed, I first need to find the velocity, which is the speed and direction. There's a great They Might Be Giant song about that. Um, take the derivative of each part, I get 2, I get 3t squared minus 7, and then next I evaluate the velocity at time 3, and that's going to be 2, 3 squared is 9, times 3 is 27, minus 7 is 20, so that's the velocity vector at time t equals 3, and in order to find the speed, I do the magnitude of that vector, which will just be, since I have this vector that goes over 2 and up 20, to find the magnitude or length of this, I do the square root of 2 squared plus 20 squared, which is the square root of 4 plus 400, which is the square root of 404. This factors as 4 times 101. There are no pro or sorry, there are no perfect square factors of 101, but square root of 4 is 2, so I get 2 root 101. And if I wanted a decimal, I could put that into a calculator. So that is the speed. It is a scalar value, not a vector for speed. A little bit more difficult is something like this, where I'm going backwards. In, they give me acceleration, I want to get to the velocity. And the idea is this. If I want to find the velocity at time 6, I know the velocity at time 2, but I need to find the change in velocity, which is the integral of acceleration. So the change in v is the integral of the rate of v. I want to go from 2 up to 6, because that's where I want to end up, and I'll just put in sine of t, e to the t, dt. v of 2 is 3, 5. This antiderivative is negative cosine t, e to the t, and I evaluate that antiderivative from 2 to 6. So I have 3, 5 plus, I put 6 in and get negative cosine of 6, e to the 6. I put 2 in and I get negative cosine of 2, e squared. I subtract those two, and if I wrap it all up and combine each of the i parts and the j parts together, I get 3 minus cosine of 6 plus, because of minus minus, cosine of 2, and 5 plus e to the 6 minus e squared.
I hope that helped out. Comment below if you have any questions.